I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at unboxing the FLIR One thermal imaging camera. So FLIR is a company that makes thermal imaging cameras, usually really high-end models. And in the past, they focused mostly on contractors, um, electricians, other professionals like that. And basically, these cameras allow you to see the temperature um, of anything you point them at, and you get this, as you can see, they're showing here. Um, kind of a little heat map of whatever you're pointing the camera at. And, you know, again, usually this is used for building inspections to find um, maybe electrical wires that are giving off too much heat in the walls, um, to locate studs, to locate uh, pipes when you're doing plumbing, that kind of thing. So essentially the cameras allow you to see through walls um, to see, you know, what the temperature of machine parts are and that kind of thing. So again, usually these were, you know, standalone cameras. So they would cost starting at usually about $500 and going up from there, they cost quite a lot because they were really geared towards that professional um, kind of audience. But they've started now to offer these sort of lower end cameras that can do a lot of the same things that a high end camera would do, but because it pairs with your smartphone, it's a lot cheaper. Um, they're really just having to produce the camera and a very simple visual camera. And then all the software and, uh, and display and everything is handled by your existing smartphone. So as a result, these cameras like this one is the FLIR one. This is the third generation of this device. Um, it's only about $200. Whereas before, you really couldn't get a thermal camera for less than probably $500 or even more. Um, so basically, it's a little device that plugs into the bottom of your phone. They have both an Android and an iPhone model for it. So this is the Android one. Um, and it plugs into the USB-C plug on the bottom of the phone. You can see they're demonstrating that here, going into the phone. Um, and it's got a thermal camera and a visual camera on there. And it basically reads the scene and merges those two images together. So you get what you're showing here of a heat map where the um, redder colors or lighter colors uh, are the hotter parts in the scene. And then the darker colors are the cooler parts. And you can actually measure the specific temperature for any part in that scene. Um, so, you know, again, this can be used for all kinds of different things, and they show some of those on the side. Um, you know, detecting cars or people at night, uh, finding animals, because animals obviously give off body heat, um, or at least mammals do. And, um, you know, so exploring your neighborhood, solving problems around the home. I mentioned, you know, finding studs in the walls, um, inspecting a computer to see where the, the heat is, uh, is coming out of it. Um, looking at where you might need more insulation in your home, for example, to see the cool spots or hot spots, uh, finding drafts where you're losing, uh, losing heat or cold through doors or leaky um, window frames and that kind of thing. So there's a lot of uses and I'm going to go into more detail about how those work. This looks like the, um, the Bix Bixby Bridge in California, maybe. I'm not sure why they wanted to show that with a thermal image. Um, but uh, this is their tagline here, see the heat, solve the problem. So it's basically another way of looking at the world, which I think is really neat. And again, it's pretty amazing. It kind of allows you to have almost like an x-ray vision because you can see through walls. You can almost see history because you can see, um, you know, if you stand up from a chair, you can see the, the hot spot you've created on the couch or that your dog created on the couch. Um, so you can see things that have happened in the past for a couple of minutes just from the lingering heat signature. So I'm really looking forward to testing this out and trying some of those home automation specific use cases. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up. Looks like the top here is actually not designed to be open, so I'm gonna go for the easier bottom here. Yep, so Android uh, device, let's take this out. Let's go ahead and open this. Looks like there's a seal on here. You can see we've got the logo. And once I break that seal, I should be able to pop this open. That's a nice packaging experience, I think. We see their logo, or their uh, tagline again, see the heat. And here it looks like some manuals. And then here's the camera itself. I'm gonna pop that out. Um, again, looks, you know, pretty simple device. You've got the USB-C uh, port here. Um, you've got a little wheel that extends or retracts that. I think this is super helpful because, you know, I imagine I'm going to use this with a phone in a case, especially if you're out in the field doing inspections and that kind of thing. You're almost definitely going to use it with a phone in a case. So this allows you to extend that USB-C uh, port further 
so that you can go into your phone even if it's still in the case. And then we've got the thermal camera and the visual camera on here to merge those two images together. Um, and then on the bottom, it looks like a power button and then some other kind of port on there. So very simple device overall. Um, and then let's see what we've got in here. I'll put this down. Looks like just an instruction and setup manual. Quick start guide. And let's see if there's anything else in here. Yep. Uh, looks like we got a nice little zipper case for it. That's kind of a nice touch. The Fleur logo on there. So you could, again, you know, put this in your, um, in your toolbox, um, be able to easily take it out if you're gonna use it for home inspection, that kind of thing. And looks like a, uh, probably a power cord to charge the device. I'm not sure if it gets power over USB or has to be charged separately. So I will look into that. Um, but again, you know, this is the basic device. Now a couple of limitations with this, there's a pro model where you can have higher resolution. This is a relatively low resolution on the thermal side. Um, you're only getting, you know, maybe a couple hundred uh, pixels of thermal resolution, but you know, that's enough to really to see most things you'd want to see for a hobbyist or a home automation kind of use case. If you're doing a professional building inspection though, they do have a pro model that has a higher resolution so you can pick up more nuance in the thermal data. Um, and also with this model, the uh, FLIR 1 uh, Generation 3, you uh, can't see the visual and the thermal separately. They're automatically merged together in the, uh, in the app itself. So just a couple of small limitations on that. It's obviously not going to perform quite as well as their high-end cameras, which they do still sell for the professional market, but I'm really looking forward to testing this out to see what it can be used for for home automation. Uh, if you found this helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.